All right, so uh, let's make a uh, install USB drive um, using Linux so that we can uh, ins use this USB drive to uh, install OpenBSD. Um, go to uh, https www.openbsd.org and uh, click download. And uh, that's the, the first step. Uh, open up a terminal and um, type uname uh, dash m. And if this says 64 anywhere and you're not using like some very particular kind of laptop like a uh, I think Pine Books maybe is the uh, only like commercially available um, Arch or uh, like uh, ARM based laptop maybe there are some Chromebooks that use ARM processors um, but like if you ran Windows on it at some point or if it came with Windows originally um, it's going to be either uh, AMD 64 or i386 um, <clears throat> and those are the only two cases that I'm going to cover for these basic install videos um, but yeah if you see 64 x86 64 then uh, in the download section you're going to want to hit either the install 70.img or the mini root 70.img and the AMD 64 version if it just says x86 or it says like 686, um, then you're going to want to use the uh, i386 version. Um, I'm going to use the i386 version because the laptop that I'm installing it to I know is i386, but because um, it's a super old laptop, like 2008, um, so like 13 years ago at this point. But um, if you've bought your laptop within the past 10 years, it's almost certainly AMD 64. If you have an Ethernet connection for that laptop um, and you can like plug it into your router, um, then like and by Ethernet connection, uh, I mean you know something like this. Um, so yeah, your standard. It looks kind of like a phone jack, but you know. Who has phone jacks anymore? Um, so, yeah. I'm going to... I do have one of those uh, ports on my, on my laptop right here. So, um, man, look at this. Look at this chonky boy. That is... That is something, huh? So, yeah. Um, just hit... Uh, I3 or I'm gonna hit I386. Uh, this will get saved to the downloads folder, um, and I can verify that um, by you know LSing in my downloads folder. Um, then uh, I'm gonna type D message. Uh, whoops, I did something wrong there. Uh, D message pipe tail and you can see that I've recently put in a USB drive but I disconnected it right so now when I put in this USB drive um, it's gonna you know be the same if I uh, hit that it'll say SDB attached SCSI removable disk um, and so once you've done that, um, you're you know you know what the name of your drive is. Um, you can type mount uh, pipe fgrep sdb, and if it doesn't give you anything there, um, then you're good to go. If it says uh, something like um, you know sda dev sda something on something. Then whatever it says on, you can just do sudo uh, umount, and then whatever it, uh, or the slash dev slash sdb, um, whatever the number is for everyone that pops up. Um, uh, otherwise, if it doesn't, if nothing comes up, 
uh, like it did here, you don't have to do any of that. Um, so then we're just going to do sudo dd input file, and um, it's usually going to be in home, downloads, I don't know why it's not auto-completing. Um, but yeah, I'm already in the downloads folder, so I can just do uh, mini root 70.img. If you're not in the downloads folder, you know, you can do your home slash downloads slash mini root 70.img. That'll work as well. And then the output file is the thing that you really need to get right. We need to get both of them right, honestly. <laughs> um, but then do slash dev slash sdb. No number afterward. And then do uh, bs equals 1 capital M. And uh, that'll write to the uh, flash drive. You can see it's only like, it's less than like 4 megabytes or approximately, uh, yeah, 4 megabytes uh, copied. Yeah, less than 4 uh, meb mebibytes, right? Um, so that's the slight difference there. Um, if you don't know anything about that, don't worry about it. Uh, but yeah, any size flash drive will work for this. Um, as long as it's greater than like 500 megabytes. Um, so like a one gig flash drive would even work. And uh, type sync to make sure that everything is actually been physically written to the drive. And that's it. Um, if you liked this video and uh, you know, you want to let me know, uh, hit that like button and uh, leave a comment if uh, there's anything you want to add. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button and let me know why you disliked it. Um, and uh, if you want to, you know, if you have any, you know, just general uh, comments, questions, criticisms, let me know in the comments as well. And if you want to see uh, these videos as I upload them and get notified, hit subscribe. But uh, that is it for this one. Uh, thanks for watching.